solution matrix into our calculator. We're going to do this, these on the calculator. Now, if I do an inverse matrix on the left side, if I do the inverse of this right here, do I actually need to multiply that out? Okay. So on this left side, we're actually not going to do anything. We're not going to do any multiplication. Because it should equal what? If it's a correct inverse, it should equal the... If I take this matrix, sorry, this matrix times its inverse, what should it equal? Oh, the computer coding stuff. Two inverses put together equals the what? The one zero zero one, the identity matrix. Okay, which is what we want. We want the identity matrix on this side. Okay, so let's put these in our calculator. We're going to put the coefficient matrix and the solution matrix. in okay? Not x and y. We don't put those in. We're just going to put this one, the coefficient matrix, and the solution matrix. So that's going to be, whoops, don't want to do that one. Edit matrix B, it needs to be a 2 by 1, 4, 7. Okay. Do we all have those in? Lizzie, you okay? 
Nej. Huh? That's matrix B. So you should, when you're done, you should have a matrix A and a matrix B. So this is my coefficient matrix. So, uh, uh, I don't. Uh, so you have matrix A is a 2 by 2, matrix B is a 2 by 1. So if I'm going to multiply these two, is there a specific order I have to do? Do I have to do A times B or could I do B times A? Has to be A times B. Do we all have these in? Okay. So here's what we have to do. X times Y is going to equal the inverse of 2, 3, 5, 6. The calculator is going to find that for us times 4, 7. So do you see how I moved this to the other side? So instead of dividing by a matrix, you have to multiply by the inverse. You have to multiply by the inverse. When I moved this to the other side, it has to be an inverse thing. So that is the inverse of C, inverse of our coefficient matrix. C is representing our coefficient matrix. So when our calculator is doing this, you have to be in the matrix menu, be under names now, because now you're going to start selecting these to the main menu. We have to do the, the coefficient matrix first. And look at the original ma the matrix button. What's written on top of that matrix button? X to the negative 1. That's your inverse. That's your inverse button. So it should look like this. A to the negative 1 times matrix B. No, no, I use the inverse button. It has to be the inverse button, right, which is the same as the matrix button, just no secondary function. Okay? Press enter. Okay. Did everyone get this negative one too? No? What'd you get? You enter all your numbers correctly. <laughs> oh, okay. You have to do.
a negative one too? Put your phones up, boys. Okay. Get them out again. That's mine. Okay. So we get this. So when I multiply these two right here, you get negative one two. So guess what x equals? X equals negative one. Y equals two. So you have the ordered pair negative one two. You have your answer. That's where they intersect. Okay. So uh, we won't have time for this. I want to do a three by three with you. You want to see how easy it is? It's going to be the same thing. So we had this problem on the assignment, right? All you have to do now is put these coefficients into a three by three matrix. Calculate the inverse of it using this and take it times this solution matrix and it'll give you your answers. Um, I want it due tomorrow. I'll give you time in class. We are, I do have a review worksheet for you tomorrow as well. Um, so you can have time in class to work on it tomorrow because we didn't quite get through it, but it needs to be turned in tomorrow as well. Yeah. Thank you.